Backlash still pouring in over a bathroom amendment passed in the Texas legislature. Voices we don't often hear from. Older members of the transgender community are speaking out tonight. The Night Beats' Brandon Jones sat down with one woman all new at 10. My story is very typical of my demographic. I was uh, macho. You know, people were very surprised when I told them. The person they once knew is now <laughs> Lisa Sheps. At 58 years old, she's living her life as a transgender woman. At around age 40, uh, it bubbled up to a point where I had to start really dealing with my issues around gender. And it wasn't easy. Sheps invited us into her home where she talked about life as an older member of the transgender community. Lawmakers approved legislation Monday that would require transgender school children to use bathrooms that correspond to their biological sex. It doesn't fix anything. As a matter of fact, it makes things worse. And they say it's in the name of safety, but there is no safety issue here. On top of this, aging in the transgender community brings up the topic of health care. What about nursing homes? Shep says it's not a matter of what kind of services they can get, but having access to it. Many trans people don't have IDs that match their gender expression. So they are forced, if, if they're forced into um, an institutional living situation, they may be marked in the wrong gender. Sheps feels there's a lot of work that still needs to be done for trans equality and acceptance. However, major strides have been made with celebrities like Laverne Cox and Caitlyn Jenner. My personal desire is to work to eliminate hate and bias across the board. So the next generation in the transgender community won't have to face discrimination. In Austin, Brandon Jones, KVU News.